What's going on everybody, PhysioTrader here, and in this video I'm going to go over the five most important things that I think you should be doing and set up and have set up on your Lightspeed account. So in no particular order, I'm going to go through these five things. Ready? Okay. So here's the first one. And again, as I said before, these are in no particular order. Um, let's just do this just to make sure I don't actually get filled on anything. Uh, I'm going to start with what is called a chart order. And that is where you enter your orders over here to get in and out of the, the price. But what I like, and this is very important, whether I'm doing an entry to get in for the first place or whether I'm doing it to control a stop, I want to put an order in somewhere. And let's say that the my order is going to be $93.80. Now, I don't actually want to buy this right now. 93, it's a limit. I'm going to buy. So that means that I am going to buy only if the price comes down this far. Now, what's going to happen? I have it set up so that I have this green bar that shows up. That is where my buy signal is. And you can see over here, zero out of 100, because this is a live order, zero out of 100 are um, set to buy. Now what I can do is I can move this up and right there you see it actually changed my order down below and now, sorry about that, now my order was changed to $94.17 per share and I can continuously do this until of course the order is filled. The same thing actually works if you're going short, I just have it set up so that it is a red bar. Now there's a couple very important things to note. When you move the order, it normally is gonna ask you, do you want to confirm that order? Because of time, I got that, I got rid of that feature and I set it up so that it does not ask me, it just does it. And so what happens, I want you to pay attention right over here and let me make it a little bit closer just to make sure you can see it. This order, I'm gonna move it. It does not actually change until I let go of the mouse. And there, the order was changed right there. Okay, so that is um, part one of the first one. Now let's do is, let me show you how to set that up. You can do a couple things. I find it to be quite easy to just hit the little gearbox on the order entry window. Or I'm sorry, on the order entry window. Okay, so come in over here. Here's a couple things that you're gonna do. Trading, confirms. Confirm chart orders. And so what you're gonna do is you are going to uncheck that box. And that way it does not pop up a dialog box that says, yes, would you like to confirm? So it's this bottom one right here. You will uncheck that one that says confirm. But that's not it. There's one more thing that you have to do. So once we've clicked confirm orders, and technically you can do them in either order, then you're gonna come over here to the chart window, click the same gear icon. Let me bring this over into the screen. And then you're gonna come over into, so now that we're in the chart, you're gonna come over here to um, trading. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click this box, check to see, we do, want to see active orders. Now, some people like executed orders, but then what you do is you have a ton of lines on there. I show executions, that's where I get the little dots there that shows uh, where I'm at positions. It, I don't really like it, um, but this one is the one that you need to have uh, checked. That active order is where you're gonna get that line. Those are the orders that have not been filled yet. And from there, and this is where you'll set your color. Do you want it to be a thin line, a thick line, um, your order line, and then your position line? And then, so my order line, I want it to be medium. I want it to be solid. Here's my buy, here's my sell. If it's partially filled, it will change colors if you set it. Uh, I have it set up that it does change it in the order entry window, but not necessarily on the chart itself. So that is how you do the very first one. And once again, if you are doing it for going short, it'll be the exact same thing, but instead of being green, it'll be red. It's also a very good thing to, you can spot check and say, oh my gosh, it's red, I'm short or I'm selling. Uh, green is always going to be buy, whether it is to cover a short position or buy uh, a closed position to just enter in long. It doesn't really matter which. Okay, so now for the next one, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring you up to my larger screen here. 
And from here, you should be able to see everything. Now, what I have is, you see, I do have two level twos that are side by side each other. And what I'm gonna do is just being on one, I'm gonna click the tab button and you can see it automatically links uh, to my order entry. This is important that you know which one is active uh, in the event that if you do or do not have hotkeys. But what's more important on the tab is I do have another screen that you cannot see. And so what I want you to do is just bear with me here, tab over Amazon, tab again, AMD. Tab over Amazon, tab over AMD. Okay, so now over here you can see this is what I have when I talk about on other screens I'm watching. I have over here Amazon, the 15 minute, the 30 minute, the daily, and the weekly. But watch this. So I'm gonna click that tab I told you about. Tab, and it automatically switched to my other window. So I have these charts what are called linked. And that linked feature allows me to not have a million charts set up because what I want is I just want the, the two minute candles that are focused simultaneously. But all these extra charts, I don't need the program capturing all that data until I say I want it. So I check back over to Amazon, Check back over to AMD, Amazon, AMD. Okay, awesome. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go through changing your order types when you change a ticker. So if you're like me, before in the past, you were working with one ticker, maybe you're, you're going through the final bit of your position and you've got yourself set up with a stop. You go in, you enter your next ticker, but you did not change the order from a stop to a limit or a market or whatever type of order you're gonna do. Now, we have a solution for that. I traditionally use limit orders. So for me, I have it set up so that when I switch to a different ticker, it automatically restarts to my starting position size, which I think I have defaulted to 100 shares at this point, as well as a limit order. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so over here, you should be able to see both Amazon and AMD once more. Now, I'll show you this. I have, doesn't matter, let's put it up to a thousand shares. I'm not going to buy it, so it doesn't matter. And then let's go over here to smaller position. Okay. Now, one thing I want to make very clear is when you switch via the tab feature, it will not change. It's only when you change the exact order feature. So watch more particularly. I'm on Amazon. Stop a thousand shares. Went back to AMD. Five shares. Stop. Very awesome. Now, let's say I switch this to Tesla. So I've got over here typed in TSLA. Immediately, it switches back to a limit order and back to 100 shares. Now come over here to AMD, and let's say I wanna switch this to Amazon. Immediately, switches back to a limit order and back to my default 100 shares. So again, how do you set that up? Let me show you. Coming over here, we're just gonna hit that top gear icon. Now we are gonna go into the quotes. And when I switch an equity quote, that means when I switch from one ticker to another, what do I want to do? Do I want to switch to buy to sell? No, because I have both of them up. Do I wanna switch the price? Uh, it is automatically gonna put the inside bid and the allowance. Uh, but what I do is what I wanna set is I'm gonna set my type and my type is always gonna switch to a limit order. Uh, I don't wanna update the market and I have it set up so that my quantity always goes back to my starter quantity. You can of course pick and choose whatever number you want on this. I have it set up to, and it, you can also choose if you want it to be visible or invisible and the time and force if you're doing a day trade, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now for me, I have it set up, I only do day trades with my Lightspeed account so I don't really need to change it, but you certainly can go ahead and do that too. But right here, that is what you're gonna do. You'll set up type, set to limit or whatever whatever type you would like. You could set a limit, stop, add only, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, add only would be like add ECNs. Uh, you're only adding liquidity, not taking. And then the quantity, again, you can set it to whatever number you want. Uh, it's my understanding, I believe that these have to be in, um, I think they have to be in 100 share lots, so. Oops, I just closed those out. So type set to, quantity set to, change. Now let's just make sure that I did not just mess it up. Amazon, boom, back to where we want it to be. Perfect, so awesome. 
Okay, so now for the next one, we're gonna talk about is switching pages. Now, for those of you who do not know, when you are working with Lightspeed, you can have different type of pages. That way you're not constantly having to change things around if you're not interested in looking at it at the same time. What does that mean? Let me show you. So over here, you can take a look at this button. It says page. From here, you can click. Right now, I have it set for click for equities trading. If I come over here and I click click for options trading, and now you'll see all of my windows have just officially changed to where I look at my options. Now you can see is my option level two is already available, my option, um, the option chart, so to speak. Um, and from here, uh, now I can go back and choose. Now one thing I did do differently is changing these pages is you can come up with a mouse and you can do that with uh, the click of the button or you can do a hotkey. Now, one thing I like to do is I'm not a major fan of doing hotkeys, but I do like hotkeys that can save me time and save me clicks, especially if I'm interested in buying very quickly. So one of the hotkeys I'll do is I can actually switch my pages on my own very quickly by clicking a series of buttons that I have designated myself. Now, how do you do that? Let me show you. You're going to go over here to utilities, settings, keyboard. From your keyboard, this is where you choose your hotkeys. This is where you make them. You can watch a separate video on how to do this. From right here, I have what is known as an access key. So click for equities trading, and that's where the position I'm not on right now. I have it set to options P or alt P. And then for click for options trading, I have it for alt O. So basically O or P options for O and then P for uh, I don't know, it was just next to the O and it was nowhere near any other hotkeys that I use. And so that is what you'll do and that is how you can set up between switching between windows. Now, I'm on my options window. If I click the button and I'm already there, nothing's gonna happen. But if I click and I can switch between options and my equity page, I can do that very quickly. Now, this may seem like a small feature or a small benefit, but Sometimes I use a different uh, structure, and sometimes that structure is based on when I use just my laptop alone. And when that happens, you need a lot of screen real estate very, very quickly. One of the things I do is that I actually set up like four separate pages, and I'll have one page that's my trading page. I'll have one page that's like my active looking page. I'll have one page that's for options, and I'll have one that's basically for watching the general market, the spy, the cues, et cetera. And I can be able to floss back between those by hitting a series of hotkeys that I have set up that I can go and I can look at. And it, I have found it to be extremely uh, beneficial and a time saver for me. And so the last thing I wanna go over is setting up a bailout hotkey. Now I know a lot of individuals, myself included, I've used hotkeys before in the past. I don't tend to use them as much now anymore. The fact is, is if I missed the trade, oh well, I missed the trade. There is one instance, actually two instances, where I use hotkeys besides the chart orders that I just showed you or switching the pages rather. So I use it to switch the pages and I also use it to switch between accounts, uh, a different video on that. I just have linked accounts, I have multiple accounts. But the other thing I do is I set it up for two separate hotkeys. Number one is to cancel all orders that exist in the market. Any of my accounts, regardless whether I have an order, sometimes your order entry gets extremely long. You have a busy day and you may miss the fact that you do have some open orders. What I do is I hotkey out and I close out all orders, whether I see any orders or not. That to me is just a safe way of saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I don't go to sleep or I don't close down the platform not knowing that there is an order open live to the market. It could bite you. It could burn you. It could help you. It could save you. It doesn't matter with me, with my trading account. I do not want to be a part of the market unless I'm actively watching it, at least for this style account. For my swing trades account, it's a very different story. But for this one, I just hotkey out. And for me, I think I have it set to escape, you know, options escape, and that just zeroes out all of my orders. That's actually a standard one that um, uh, Lightspeed already sets pre, uh, prefabbed on there. And you just have to say, yes, I do want to enact this. That's number one. The other one that I set up is what I would say is a bailout. Sometimes a trade goes against you. And when that happens, you need to get out as soon as possible. And what you're gonna do, or what I do, is I set out a close out position. And other brokers will sometimes refer to this as flatten or cancel all or, or FXN, which stands for flatten. Now when that happens, or FLN, when that happens, all you're doing is you're saying, I don't care 
broker, in my case, Lightspeed, I don't care what position I've got. I don't care it's going against me. I know it sucks. It's painful. It's pitiful. None of us enjoy that feature. None of us enjoy that feeling. I'm sorry, that feeling, not feature. The feature is, is that you're going to click this cancel all or flatten, but position. Um, and this flatten is going to undo whatever you're in. If you're long in a position, it is going to automatically sell those positions at the market or whatever it is you set it to. If you're short, it is automatically going to become a buyer so that you can cancel and flatten that position so that you are not pushing the risk parameter any farther than it would be before. So those are my four things or five things. If you have any questions, reach out. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you all in the next one.